Good evening. This is our evening reflection for March 31st, 2020. This is Pastor Laura Strauss of Sunset Hills United Presbyterian Church walking you through this reflection. Consider the lilies of the field, Jesus says in the Bible. And it's reported that the 19th century poet Emily Dickinson claimed that was the only commandment she never broke. Wendell Berry writes this about our God and nature. He writes, I don't think it is enough appreciated how much an outdoor book the Bible is. It is best read and understood outdoors and the farther outdoors, the better or that has been my experience of it. Passages that within walls seem improbable or incredible, outdoors seem merely natural. This is because outdoors we are confronted everywhere with wonders. We see that the miraculous is not extraordinary, but the common mode of existence. It is our daily bread. Whoever really has considered the lilies of the field or the birds of the air and pondered the improbability of their existence in this warm world within the cold and empty stellar distances will hardly balk at the turning of water into wine, which was, after all, a very small miracle. We forget the greater and still continuing miracle by which water with soil and sunlight is turned into grapes. Beloved in Christ, our God is at work, is moving, is amongst us. And we see this in our Bibles, in the words of the promises found in our scriptures. And we see this as we look outside. This image that we meditate on today comes from Monet's garden at Givernay in um, France, just outside of Paris. It is said that his garden looked different depending on what time of day one was outside. And of course, it looked very different day to day from the gray to the sunshine to the rain, from season to season. And Monet in his garden participated in the miraculous work of our God, for there are miracles to be found. There are miracles to be found in just one lump of dirt if we look at what God is up to in creation. And friends, we are part of God's creation. God is at work in us. God is transforming us, moving within us, redeeming us and Jesus Christ is present in our midst. Friends, let us lift up to the Lord in prayer, our prayers of thanksgiving for God's abiding presence and for God's wondrous deeds. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and all God's children said, Amen.